Going up. <laughs> Look at me go. Yes. I'll take it. Strong. I'm getting stronger. I knew would never just blindly follow orders, not even the young masters. There's no excuse in the world that could justify killing Arakawa-san! Yes, there is. To me, the young master's orders are law. My life's purpose is to protect him. My life's purpose was to protect Arakawa-san! I know that. I know that all too well. Captain. And just so you know, I didn't kill Arakawa-san. Huh. I thought the young master ordered you to, because of me! He did order me to. What? But 
but that was the only time I ever disobeyed one of his orders. I couldn't kill Masumi Arakawa. I can't explain it, but even as low as I've fallen, That was the one order I couldn't follow. How could I? Because you couldn't put aside your respect for Arakawa-san. Oh, you think a Yakuza can't take out his own patriarch? No. That wasn't it. No. The real reason was, and I've never told this to anyone, not even the young master. So why are you telling me? Listen, the first time I saw Masumi Arakawa was only a short while before I swore my oath to him. I was 15. Just a dumb kid with no direction, no future. Back when I was getting into fights on the streets of Kamurocho. I had no money. All I had waiting for me at home was my drunk father's fists. The only people I could trust were the other guys who also had nothing. My girl was... Uh, <laughs> I can't even remember her name. Anyway. We shacked up and played house, even though we didn't really think it would last. By the time she told me she was pregnant with our child, it was too late for an abortion. What are we gonna do? We can't raise a kid. There's no way in hell. All we could do was pray she'd have a miscarriage. We just ignored her growing stomach, going about life pretending it wasn't there. No hospital visits or anything like that.
But of course, you can't ignore an actual baby. She ended up giving birth in a department store bathroom. All on her own. I was working at the time, laying asphalt as I recall. What now? Just pretend it didn't happen. Brush it under the rug. That's what you do with secrets. That's how we dealt with stuff our whole lives. Who was there to teach us any other way? No one. Which is why... We're going to hell, aren't we? I know it. Why are you saying that? Nothing happened, okay? It's chilly out. Let's go home. Are you serious? It's over. Just forget about it. I can't! I have to go back! Stop! We took care of it! The locker, we... Does he know? Why else would he try to open it? Did he hear the baby in there? He had to, right? This... 
is my child. So, our Kawasan took your baby? That means... Shit! That baby was... Masato Arakawa. The young master. The young master? Is your son? The boss told you about that night, didn't he? New Year's Eve. His woman was being chased by the Hikawa family. They decided to hand off the baby using a locker. baby in the same row of lockers. What were the chances? So you see how it happened? Arakawa followed the sound of a baby's cries and pried open the locker. Five years later, the mother of my child was out of my life. But Masumi Arakawa... He was still in Kamurocho. with my son. Oh my, is that... Huh? 
That kid. I did some research on the man. Arakawa started his own Yakuza family at a pretty young age, so he was gaining some notoriety already. I found out a lot. Like how the kid in the chair had never been able to walk. Because of severe hypothermia he'd suffered when he was born. Enough, Masato. where they echoed in my head for months. Even if I'd never had a son, the Yakuza path was my fate. It always had been. I've been living my life half-assed for so long. Are you sure you want this? There's no turning back once you've sworn an oath. I'm sure. Suddenly, I saw another way. I could swear an oath to Masumi Arakawa. Okay, then drink. <laughs> Arakawa the Assassin was his nickname then. He didn't fuck around. I get it now. I get why you swore loyalty to Arakawa. It wasn't because he was the legendary Arakawa the Assassin. That's what drew everyone else to Arakawa. But you swore your oath to be near the young master. Does he know any of this? I told you. This is a secret I've never told anyone before. Honestly, I thought I would take it to my grave. And then why did you tell me?
because there's something I want to ask you. Me? Okay, shoot. Didn't you notice there's one crucial detail missing from that locker story? Crucial detail? Use your head. If Arakawa-san took my son out of the locker, then where is his real son? Yeah, good point. The boss said his woman's name was Akane. And before he met her, she'd been working at a soap land called Shangri-La. Shangri-La? Seriously? That's where I was born. Yes. So take this next part with a grain of salt. But here's my theory. On that night, New Year's Eve, Akane called Arakawa-san to tell him she was being hunted. She knew they'd find her at the maternity ward, so she left. But as soon as she did, she went into labor. She desperately needed to find a place to have her baby, where she wouldn't be found. So I think she may have gone to her old workplace. Shangri-La. And, as you just said, that's where you were born, correct? But that... You're making it sound like I... It can't be. After the boss took the young master out of the locker, I saw another baby. You did? Long after all the fuss died down, she and I just stood there. We were shocked. Our doomed child had been saved. And now we had to just move on. To admit I felt relieved. But I couldn't see why a Yakuza had been so desperate to save a baby. Sure, maybe he'd heard it crying. But why the desperation? And he didn't even call for help. It was such a fucking mystery, it gave me a headache. But a few minutes later, I got my answer.
Boss, is it one of these? Yes, hurry! Open up every single one that isn't locked. Okay, I'm on it. What are they doing? I don't know. I hope to hell it wasn't this one. He's not here. Oh! Gotcha! Boss! Over here! I found him! You sure? It's him? Wait. No. If he's still here... That can only mean the handoff didn't go as planned. What should we do? Take him to the police? No. I need to hold on to him for a while. In case Akane comes back for him. You think she's gonna make it? She said her life was in danger. It was at that moment I realized. The other man had taken the wrong baby. You took the wrong baby. After putting you in the locker, Akane-san kept running. Right up until the Hikawa family caught her. I think that while she was on the run, she told someone she could trust about her baby in the locker, just in case. I didn't recognize the two people that came to pick up the other baby. But if one of them was Jiro Kasuga, your foster father, owner of that soap land, then you're Masumi Arakawa's son.
Sh shut up, man. There's no way. But isn't there? A DNA test would be a simple way to find out. Without a test, you'll never know for sure. <sighs> or if you think I'm talking out of my ass, just walk away. Forget I told you. Hell no. You think I'm going to just let you walk away after you kill the Seiryu clan's chairman? Do what you will to me. I had no future then. I have no future now. Why not? Ryoaki told me to kill Arakawa, and I refused. He clearly already decided I was disposable when he gave me this hit. Take out a chairman. Aoki wasn't expecting me to come out of this alive. All I am to him now is a third-rate hitman. My success or failure hardly matters. you to answer me, Captain. If you didn't kill Arakawa-san, who did? I don't know for sure, but maybe Lieutenant Nishioda. He's the young master's favorite peon now, since Arakawa-san is dead. Arakawa-san's death is on Ishioda then. Sawashiro, I still can't let you walk away. As much as I'd like to kill you myself, you need to pay for your sins the legit way. Pay for my sins the legit way? <laughs> That's not the way I've led my life.
그금 일을 많은 정보 맞아? 그렇군. 혹시 또뭐 나오면 연락해. 헤. What's up? 이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이이